So when they were looking for his ashes, they opened up this cabinet and it just had a bunch of these boxes. Blow it, blow it. We're almost done. I got three. Come on in. <laughs> Hello there all you wonderful people of the internet. It is Wednesday and this is actually the day at, that I'm picking up Levi's ashes. So I'm actually at the vet right now. I'm going to go get them and then come right back. So it's like a kind of a sad day but then I'm like also happy to have him back in some ways. I didn't know that um, when we put him down they weren't going to pick him up until Wednesday, that next Wednesday, so we put him down on Friday, they were going to pick him up Wednesday, and then we had to wait a week after that before they came back to pick up any other dogs that had to be put down, or animals in general, um, and like, I got, I was really mad, like, I was like, he's going to sit in some frozen fridge, I assume, frozen fridge, for four days, just sit there, and it really made me mad, <laughs> so I'm just happy to have him back. <laughs> So, we're gonna go get him. So when they were looking for his ashes, they opened up this cabinet and it just had a bunch of these boxes. And they were looking for his and his was the biggest one and I said it's probably the biggest one and it was <laughs> so it's, I, don't know. I don't know what to think I've been doing all right if you guys are, like wondering how I'm doing like we said before I have more of a piece about it than I thought I was going to it's not been easy I definitely still cry here and there um Daisy for those of you who have the, have asked how Daisy is doing um, she was doing great at first. She didn't even really seem to notice, but now she seems a little bit more down. Um, she has trouble going out into the yard by herself, especially at night. She doesn't like to go out, um, and she's not eating as much, so we're having to, like, coat her food in coconut oil to get her to eat. We didn't want to consider getting a do another dog anytime soon. A couple people have asked, like, when are you guys going to get another dog? We didn't really want to get one even in any, in the next year. <laughs> Um, but if Daisy continues like this, um, then we would get her some kind of furry friend, obviously, a dog, uh, a doggy friend. So we'll just see how it goes. Like she could be going through her own little like adjustment stage right now and she could be fine. Preferably, I don't, I know I'm not like fully ready for another dog, but at the same time, like I'm totally open to it. I think it's a different when you're like a multiple dog home already and I've owned dogs my entire life. That I don't in any way feel like if I got a dog tomorrow, like I was replacing Levi already. It doesn't feel like that. Like one of my friends said, you know, we have an open spot in our home for a dog. And why not give a dog that needs a home a home if we can? So right now, though, I'm just playing it by ear and mainly trying to also think about Daisy and keep an eye on her. Because some dogs just don't do well as only dogs. Um some dogs like company so we'll see all right it's been long enough let's go back home Still be 
box with Levi's ashes on the table. And so I came over to open it. And she was like, why are you opening it? I was like, to, to see it? And she said, but his ashes, why do you, what, you just wanna look at them? I was like, no, they're probably in an urn. She said, no, I don't think so. I think they're just in the box. I was like, that would be really weird if there's just a bag of ashes in a box. We have an urn. <laughs> crazy to think that he is in here. Say hello there guys, it is now Thursday. She's been after her sunglasses a lot lately, I don't know why, but it's Thursday. This little cutie is going outside, Ryan just got home, Avery wants to come out so I'm gonna let her out. Yeah, okay. So I just started making dinner. We're gonna eat like leftovers. I have to cook up more rice for our um, Hawaiian barbecue chicken that we made earlier because we have like a lot of that leftover but not any more rice. So I'm making more rice. And I think we're gonna do some yard work this evening. So our grass is getting long again already. But the dandelions are out of control. And it's like this place for rent. I'm not gonna spend the money on like crazy amounts of weed killer for this place and stuff. So not we're not doing it for our future home when we own a home yeah I would definitely go through taking care of getting rid of all the dandelions but no way too expensive for a house that you rent hey, blow it blow it whoa on the run blowing what are you doing Erie you're gonna play that's dirty that's all rainwater whatever have fun I don't care girl over here got her sunglasses on her head swinging like a big girl huh you are so cute Rev are you saying hi you are so cute kid so as you can see the pallets are coming apart pretty quick we're almost done I got three and I've only got that one left in that minuscule amount of the second one left so and then with those I should have enough wood to complete the whole project, which will be awesome. Come on in. Whoa. Come here, bear. The camera is not. As soon as you try to get her to stay. Next one. Why are you being such a pre Madonna? Why are you being a pre Madonna? I think it's gonna, we're gonna call it good for today. Lift it up. There you go. She downs that. This nap. She literally drinks oh, milk yeah? at nap time, like, in like two minutes. Oh, wow. No. No, Go, go. So I wanted to give you guys more information on that cover song that was like singing of Be Thou My Vision. Um, some of you guys might recognize it. It was the song that I was singing in part of Levi's last week vlog. And so I listened to that song like the whole way home after picking him up yesterday. Um, that song just really got me through that whole week and it makes me cry pretty much every time I sing it. <laughs> But, I don't know, it's a hard to explain cry. It's like an overwhelming Jesus love cry. I'm gonna see a tiny mommy! You wanna see the stars? It's not dark enough yet, honey. See? But anyways, um, obviously like I have sadness with it too because it makes me think of like that last week with him. But, peekaboo! She is so talkative lately. But I wanted to give you guys the information on the song. Um, so it's actually the Ascend the Hill version of Be Thou My Vision. Like that little chorus part is not in the original hymn. Um, and then the cover is by, I believe, Jason Waller. He is the one singing in it. And now it's just one of my favorites. I've never been a huge hymn person. I much prefer 
the Ascend the Hill version because I really like that like chorus kind of tag that they added on. So we're going to end the vlog though because Ryan's out. I got to edit because it's Thursday night. How do we end the vlog? Big <laughs> You're cute. See you guys on Monday. Bye. Bye.